This is the soccer you probably know. 22 players, 115 by 75 yard fields, 90 minute matches. But indoor soccer isn't like that. Just ask Milwaukee way forward Ian Bennett. Honestly, it's crazy, man. I always say to people that are like, describe an indoor game. I'm like, it's kind of tough. It's like, it's like basketball, hockey, soccer, everything rolled up into one. Or ask defenseman Tenzin Rampa, a Madison native who played his college soccer at UW-Milwaukee. The first thing you got to notice is the speed of the play is a lot quicker. There's more, you know, physical interactions, you know, along the boards. There's loud music. <laughs> Plenty of scoring. And sometimes, tempers flare. It's really crazy, it's just entertainment, and I love it, you know? I mean, the ball doesn't go out that much, it's a lot of action, and it's very exciting. And unlike many indoor soccer teams, the Milwaukee Wave has found its niche. Founded in 1984, the Wave are the longest running professional soccer team in North America. They've survived turbulent times in indoor soccer. The Wave has played in six leagues, Five no longer exist. They currently play in the 17-team Major Arena Soccer League, which has seen 43 teams fold since the league was founded in 2008. The Wave has consistently been in the top five in the league in attendance since joining the MASL at the start of the 2014-15 season. Forward Daniel Matos says the players in the field notice. In our games, our arena, it's, it's usually full. Like we have a lot of, we have a good crowds every game. Head coach Giuliano Oliviero has witnessed the fan base's passion as both a player and coach for the Wave. I think it, it, if you go to another city and they're starting up a franchise, the first organization they'll always mention is the Milwaukee Wave. So I think the Wave is kind of like the measuring stick. With any organization that succeeds, there's a, there's a culture and there's a sense of tradition. Uh, we've had some really you know, successful coaches, successful players, um, players that have gone on to play you know, at the MLS level. Play. You can count Bennett among the list of success stories. He's the team's leader in goals and points and is top two in the entire league in both categories. But the fan interest goes beyond the play on the floor. They get the fans involved in the experience through creative themes. Tonight, it's superheroes and princesses, with the players wearing jerseys modeled after Batman and Thor. Yeah, it's crazy. When they first did it, I was like, are you people are really gonna show up in there? But they do, man. They love the costumes, they really, Once you see them getting into it, you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta try to put on a show, man, because these guys really want it. They're all into it. The players are also active in the community running camps and coaching in the area throughout the year. Wave players run a clinic for kids before each home game. If I was growing up and I had a pro player willing to like do all this work, run these camps, do all this stuff and spend time with me, I would love it. Although the Wave's fan base is varied, one of the team's largest demographics is local youth soccer players. Bennett is one of the more experienced coaches among the group, and his charisma off the floor and dazzling goals and celebrations on it have made him a fan favorite. The crowd is full of jerseys with his electric green number 26 on the back. And I just try to be the best role model for all these kids and, and, and for the Milwaukee Wave. This game is a perfect outcome for Milwaukee and the fans who came to see Bennett. He scored a hat trick in front of an active crowd in Milwaukee's 8-2 victory against the Cedar Rapids Rampage. The win moves the team into second place in its division and closer to clinching a playoff spot. There isn't much time to celebrate though. The afternoon ends for many of the players the same way it began, signing autographs and talking to the team's youngest fans. We are, we are part of something big, we, we know that, and, and our, our job as, as professional soccer players is to make sure we give back to the community, and that's what we do on a regular basis again. It's also a chance to give back to the sport they love, even if it's not the outdoor style they grew up playing. I wish I could give more back to it, but it, it's just I can't. It's just it's given me so much. It's opened so many doors. I just, I just love it, man. I, it's, I can't even put into words, man, what it's done for me, but I'm just so happy I'm playing it. People like what I'm doing, and, it, and it's really awesome, man.